so how can we personalize the smart client so every installation of milestone we have a smart client so how can we personalize the smart client where every user has his or, or her own unique view all right so i just uh, launched the smart client and uh, i I've, i've already installed the o insights uh, dashboard reporting analytics plugin and that sits right inside the smart client uh, the, the tab is called o insights and as soon as i launch uh, the, the 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 i i the the dashboard what i've configured uh, pops up right right on the smart client and this dashboard what you see is what we call the agile workspace so everything every card here is is completely configurable by the by the user so uh, all you need to do is set up and this card can have come to life so they can be configured you can move them around you can, you can pretty much do everything with them and uh, like for example you can change their name the title the colors all that and what do you do you can also keep adding new widgets so we this is a library of widgets we keep shipping every release we have we can kind of add add to this library and the users can kind of keep adding you know uh, adding these widgets to his 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 uh, data yeah let's let's start on one by one so we have the the camera online offline uh, uh, cards which tells you how many cameras are online how many cameras are offline in your in your in your milestone system and each of these cards uh, they they also have a drill down so if you want to see which camera is offline just click on it it tells you exactly which camera is offline and you have a search option you can export this 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 data as well as a export as a pdf or or a or excel file we have a camera list so this list is kind of shows you all your cameras in your in your in your uh, milestone uh, installation and what this also does is not only helps you search for cameras it can help you search for cameras which are online offline it gives you quick information about the camera you're looking for so let's say i pick up any camera i just click on it i know oh, what is the 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 manufacturer what is the Pick another one. What is the you know the hardware manufacturer IP address which recording server it belongs to? So, so this is kind of a entire list. You can you can search by this list. It shows you the entire status. You can also go and see the live view right there. You don't have to go to any other any other uh, tab. Right there, live view. You can also see the recording right there. So it's like one click for all your you know access. So that's easy you know easy navigation, easy access for your camera, and this kind of really pops back in right there. Uh, things like uh trending of data like uh I'll just show you an example here. so this widget is basically a graph trend so what it allows you to do is allows you to pick any camera you want in your in your uh, setup i can just i can add another camera right here and it lets you map which events you want to plot so i picked up a couple of events here and it can choose a date range like if you want a last week today you can you can have those date range selected you can have a custom range and uh, you know but but they want to group this on alarms you want to group it on events or a, or a, you know a camera a camera combination and once that is done automatically it picks up and starts plotting this graphs for you any data you have in milestone any event coming in milestone uh, uh, whether it is a defined event analytical event it can kind of use you can use that data and plot it on a on a on a graph here so we have uh, donut charts heat maps a lot of heat maps so you know motion detection or any parameter cameras can be selected here. you can get to see all your errors whatever you want how you want to configure events but you get a see a, a visualize it in a heat map perspective that's possible and moving on to the other aspects of this dashboard you have uh, along the dashboard you have this camera details uh, this is the inventory report we call it and here like you know Roy is asked we have the grouping you can choose the group you're looking for You select the group, and it shows you all your cameras in your group selected, with all the details you need. You know the manufacturer, version, firmware, etc. What is the current status of it? If you want to see the live view of the camera right now, what it's looking at, that's also possible. You can get to the live view right here, and all these reports again can be exported and can be saved. We also have a camera storage report, so this tells you uh, how much of storage a camera is configured for. how much is how much it's it's being actually being used so if you see uh, each camera what is the disk path it's configured for what is the available size in that path how much is being used what's the retention time configured and what we also do is we actually go and check what is the the frame in you know, the first frame the last frame actually there in the recording server and tell you how much is that get the duration so for cameras configured for 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 continuous recording like 24 hour recording you actually know whether it's the, the retention time and the actual time is is the same or not we have again trending of alarms so whatever alarms you get in your system can all trended 
you have these friends and what we do uh, interesting here is we we can actually tag a camera so in, in milestone uh, currently there is no tagging but we can we add tagging to a camera you can be, you can add a location and a type attribute to a camera you just put the description property of the camera and type that in and we pick that up and then you can actually uh, figure out you, know, you can actually plot data based on which camera so which locations are generating those those those, those alarms uh which type of camera generate those alarms so all those uh, metadata given to you based on your tagging in milestone and how this helps uh, explain how this helps when you want to understand inventory of your cameras right so first thing you want to know how it how am i distributed from a manufacturer perspective so a lot, lot of lot of lot of cases we have seen wherein you have a huge amount, you know huge uh, different different manufacturers actually supplying cameras so you got you got instantaneous breakup of what is your my my camera to manufacturer breakup you also can divide and see see your uh, location specific breakup because of the tagging you can see type wise so if you have multiple you know indoor pt is how you want to tag it's up to you you can you get that breakup everything can be exported as excel or pdf and by recording server so if you have multiple recording server we actually break it up and show you how with how your how your assets are spread up, spread across by all these four uh, kind of ways you know we kind of show that to you quickly in a in a, in a graph here uh, moving on uh, we have some uh, reporting here so alarm reporting i mean i mean this is uh, uh, everybody i mean everybody where there is compliance audit you have to have alarm report generated saved so we have that you can choose your date range you can, you can kind of customize that and you can store those data we have uh, what what we what we we do more more than just alarms is we actually give you count so if you if somebody asks a uh, question you know how many how many alarms coming per day of, of a particular kind you know and that, that answer is very difficult to give but for us in using this application it's, it's straightforward you can just run this report it tells you each alarm how many times it has come every day in this time range selected and the other way of looking at it is each camera how many alarms does it generate that's also So by source, so you can right away do that as well. So it tells you each camera how many alarms generated, and to understand what are these alarms, just click on it. You get to know that data as well. So it's it's that simple. So uh, yeah, and this is a camera health report. So here, what we do here is we actually go and check uh, if uh, how many times a camera has has triggered the non-responding event, and we actually calculate the time. how much time was down in that period selected so this tells you uptime of a camera you know so if any camera has gone down in the duration it tells you how much time has been gone down for and you can pretty much know you know right there about your your how downtime and uptime of camera is is immediately calculated to you and given to you on your screen matter of seconds yeah we also have a web a widget so you can put in any html page in that so in case you have a twitter feed or a, or a facebook feed or whatever is important for your internet web pages can be embedded so here you have a who page embedded right here this is another example here we are talking a lot of a lot of building data coming in so fire alarm status coming from a backnet point is a backnet widget we have a backnet widget you can directly connect to the backnet driver and get data from a backnet uh, card you also have standard milestone uh, widgets like this which come from uh, milestone data points so i'm i'm just simulating a vehicle over speeding event i just try to trigger a event and you see any event generated the card automatically uh, updates itself and you have an alarm coming on the on your right corner right Right again. There you go. Let's take like milestone here. You have that. You have that uh, theme. The dark and the and the and the and the and the light theme. Uh, we also support the same uh, theme concept for milestone. So if you have to talk on the theme, this is again you no know, personal preference. Some people like it light. Some people like it dark. So skip that area. Really.